Fences is directed by Denzel Washington, starring him and Viola Davis, and is the story of a married couple trying to raise a family in the 1950s and all of the struggles that come with doing that. This is written by August Wilson, based off of his play, and a lot of people deemed this unfilmable because it's just a lot of really long dialogue sequences featuring people in the middle of arguments or joking or singing or telling stories, and so people were like, well, we can't turn this into a movie because who's going to want to watch that? You know, a bunch of talking? Oh, I don't know. People who liked Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, another great film that was a play that was turned into a film, or Roman Polanski's Carnage. I mean, it happens, people. It's 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 not that strange. <laughs> I always find it so funny when people say that certain things are unfilmable. I mean, some of the best movies of all time feature extremely long dialogue sequences set in one or two locations. There are three specific reasons you should see this film. The script by August Wilson, Viola Davis, and Denzel Washington. This is some of the best acting I've seen all year. And these sequences that are so long and drawn out where people start and you're like, okay, this is a nice little conversation. You're smiling, you're laughing with them, and then someone just says something. Maybe just the wrong thing. Perhaps Denzel's son looks looks at him in the wrong way and he just snaps and turns into a disgusting human being. Denzel Washington's character in this movie is very complex. He starts out, he's a likable guy, he holds a job, he's trying to support his family. You feel like this is just a good old fashioned man trying to provide for his family, put a roof over their heads, put food on the table, and you relate to him in that way. And then all of a sudden throughout the film you get these subtle hints that he's not the greatest person, that he has a lot of flaws. You learn a little bit about his backstory and how he was raised, and then you see some serious shit go down in his family, and it is heart-wrenching. The acting in this film is so powerful. It really does transcend the film experience, and it does feel like a play just edited together as a film. And I love that about this movie. I love watching these actors have so much breathing room to perform, and the performances absolutely shine. Denzel and Viola Davis in particular are both Oscar-worthy in this movie. They are brilliant. They're both giving really big, loud performances, and you could look at that and say, well, they're really trying for that Oscar. But when you really think about the experiences that they are dealing with in their family, I can't see it happening any other way in real life. There's going to be loud scenes. There's going to be explosions. There's going to be these big dramatic moments. Because if some of the things that happen in this movie happen to a real family, that's how it would go down. And it's so well portrayed that there were many moments throughout this movie where I actually forgot I was watching a movie. And that is so so rare. Denzel's made two other films before, Antoine Fisher and The Great Debaters. He's actually shown himself to be a really good director. No one really talks about that too much because he doesn't do it that often. But whenever he gets his hands on a project, I'm always interested to see what he's going to do and I think this might actually be the best film he's helmed. As for issues with Fences, there's one moment towards the end of this film that really betrays the rest of it. It gets really cheesy and fake and I just didn't believe it for a second. Other than that, this is an excellent film with amazing performances, and I'm going to give Fences an A-. It's in theaters now. If you want to have a heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching Christmas at the theater, go check it out. It has amazing work from a lot of really talented actors. Guys, thank you so much for watching my reviews in the year of 2016. This is going to be my final review of the year. I still have my best and worst of the year videos coming to you very, very soon. I can't wait to do that. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.